Hi everyone, I'm Marcy with Murals and Musings by Marcy, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to paint lemons. I don't know if you've noticed, but lemons are really popular right now as we head into the summer months, and rightly so, they're so bright and cheery. So I thought I'd decorate my kitchen with a few touches of lemon here and there. I had some fake lemons, so this worked out really nicely, and I had a lemon kitchen towel, but I just needed something to put here on my recipe book holder. So since I always have plenty of blank canvases, I just decided to paint this. It took me maybe 20, 30 minutes max, and it just worked out perfectly. So I thought, why not teach you how to paint lemons? It's so simple. So pull out your canvas, pull out your craft paints, and let's get started. I'm at my work desk now, and I've got everything I'm going to need, beginning with a plain white canvas. Now, if you don't have one, consider painting something else. In fact, I think hand-painted lemons would look so beautiful on a garden planter. But again, just use your imagination. You're only going to need a few colors of paint. Uh, for the lemons, you're going to want a pastel yellow, a white, and then, of course, a little bit of brown. Now, these particular colors are called Daybreak and Teddy Bear Tan. For the leaves, you're going to want a dark green and then a lighter green. I'm going with Hunter Green, and this one is called Citron Green. I've got everything else I'm going to need. I've got my water, I've got my palette, my rag, and of course, all my paint brushes. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and put my paint on my palette first. And it really doesn't take a whole lot. So I'm going to start with this sort of flat brush. You always want to wet the tip of it first and dry it. Just sort of preps your brush. And what we're going to do is start here on this corner. Everyone, when they, sh when they uh, draw lemons, they kind of just do the basic, you know, shape like this. And while that's perfectly fine, lemons are a lot more round than we think. And then we're going to take, without cleaning our brush, we're going to dip it into the white and we're just going to mix that into the paint. Pick a side where you think the light is going to hit. Now I'm going to take another brush, maybe that's got a little harder tip on it. And while everything's still wet, I'm just going to come around the edges with my other paintbrush. Try to mix it in a little bit better. I'm going to add a little brown in some spots. And while it's still wet, I think I'm going to add a second lemon here. And again, we already decided that the white was going to be on top. So again, with my paintbrush, and just blend it a little bit. Now with just a little more of this brown, I want it to look a little bit like um, where the shadows hit and then lemons are imperfect. So you don't want it to be too perfect. You want it to look like it does in nature, and things in nature are imperfect. That's it for the lemons. Now we're going to do the uh, leaves. Now I'm going to add my green paint to the palette. I'm going to mimic just a branch as if it's holding both of these. And the thing about a branch, you never want it to be overly smooth. It's kind of uh, jagged. I'm going to make it seem as if this branch was coming behind the lemon. So we'll have another leaf come out on this end. Now I'm going to dip my brush in both shades of green. And I just do half dark, half light. See that? And I'm going to make my first leaf. And lemon leaves are kind of long and narrow. To make it seem as if a leaf is coming out back here. Maybe add another one here. I'm going to go back and just kind of fill them in where they need to be filled in and then kind of blend as if uh, filling in the lines of the leaf. It looks pretty good. Basically just fill in the rest. Add as many as you'd like, but that's it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. You see that I added a few more lemons and a few more leaves, just repeating the same process. But now I'm going to paint a lemon that is already cut open. For this, I'm just taking that same yellow color 
and I'm just painting a circle. I'm going to make it as if it's behind this lemon here. I'm going to take that brown color. And I'm going to take the white and we're just going to do our little slices. And then we're going to do white around. I just want to give some of these actually dip my my brush in the yellow so that there's plenty of yellow paint on there and then just kind of get a tiny bit of brown on there and then I can add some text on there if I want just handwriting I'll probably add a little bow to it and uh, since I have two and I really don't need to I'll probably leave it on my neighbor's doorstep just as a little surprise for her but here's what this other one looks like just right right there and of course for that you just use your black paint thanks so much for checking out my video be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and follow me at muralsbymarcy.com for more diy projects